Hello everybody. <laughs> this was a very anticlimactic start to to the live. Um, <laughs> um yeah, hello everybody. I in this live I am going to just be be playing and um just be building a little bit. So you're more than welcome to join along for the ride and to um just be here with me so um hello to whoever has joined i am going to go in game right now and yeah and i'm gonna start building i'm gonna get straight to building um here okay great you can see the you can see that i am building for a second there i thought that there was a problem with the with the live okay so um yeah Okay, um, yeah, let me just start to build, um, as you can see, I built this in, like, offline, this is the shelter for the Wysant habitat that I am planning on building in this episode, um, <clears throat> yeah, so let's get straight to, let's get straight to building, I, I still need to, to decorate this a little bit. I'll show you right now where I got inspired from. I got inspired from this photo that I found on... Oh, no, no. This photo that I found on on Google. I got inspired by this photo. So, um, so yeah, this is what I am trying to replicate and this is what I'm trying to, to build. So, yeah. Okay, let's go back to the game. Okay, I'm in game now. And yeah, hello, hello, hello everybody. Let's see what else I can I can build. Okay. So, don't mind me if I'm going to be muting my microphone a little bit. It's because I am eating <laughs> while I am doing this this live usually. I I build without the microphone on and I just usually muted at the end so nobody can like hear me eat <laughs> or anything like that so just do excuse me if you do hear me eating um but yeah <clears throat> okay what am i going to do in this episode um i think okay what do i want to do okay i want to maybe start fixing this interior because as you can see there are lots of plants that are sticking out like that. I think that I am going to... Um, I think what I'm going to do... Thank you, thank you so much. Um, I think that... I need to... Sorry if you can hear the rain in the background. It started raining all of a sudden. So, um, so yeah. Let's do a line to surface. We'll push it in like so as we'll push it in as low as possible. And technically for whoever is watching the live right now, this is a little bit of a sneak peek. Um, like this is um yeah, this is a sneak peek to whoever's watching the live. I am going to one second post on my Instagram story that I am live. So everybody will know that they can join. So just one second. Um, okay. Um, live now. You are more than welcome to join. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna send this. Let's add a link. Where is the link? <laughs> um, how have your guys' days, how has your day been going to whoever is in the live? I can't really see the amount of people in the live. Hopefully there are a couple of people at least. Um, but how have your how has your day been going? Let me know in the comments below. 
in the in the comments um how has your day been going so far okay now i can see there are three people in the live because i joined from my phone again so um yeah how is your day be how is has your day been going um okay let's carry on building i'm going to i really love the new dlc wait just one second um i feel like it's seriously one of my favorite dlcs i'm just one second I just took a sip of water, sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> about the new DLC, I really, really, really do love it. I feel like it, it might be one of my favorites, but honestly, I have many favorites. Um, I don't know, maybe I should do like a little ranking of the DLCs. I can do that right now for you. But the, the thing is that I don't really remember all of the DLCs, so... Um, if I forget any DLC, be sure to, to let me know. <laughs> um, but I feel like my favorite DLCs are probably the Aquatic and maybe the Africa DLC. I really do love the Africa DLC. It's one of my favorite DLCs, especially because I really do love African animals. Um, I feel very connected to them. I used to live in Africa, so um, I don't know, that's the reason, and, and another reason is I just really do love animals, so so yeah, that's really the reason why my the Africa DLC is probably my favorite of all the DLCs, um, but maybe my second favorite is the, um, what's it called, is the Europe DLC, and then this is also one of my favorite DLCs. I don't know. I just really do love all of the DLCs in Planet Zoo. Um, wait, this one is this little plant here is let me. Oh, oops. <laughs> I'm walking into all of the trees today. Let me put a, tr a different plant. Oh, it's still is looking through so let's see if we can hide that um and what is one of your least um maybe the arid animal pack um southeast asia is also one of my least the arid animal pack i i do like it but it's definitely one of my least favorites another one i just don't really rem remember all of the dlcs right now is probably maybe not the tropical pack but the south american pack um the south american pack is also one that i don't necessarily love but um i still do love all of the dlcs no matter of like i still do love them all try to rotate it uh i can do that i do <laughs> i don't know i didn't really think about it let's see where are the leaves sticking through this is the most tedious and annoying part of the whole what do you think about the twilight mm, that's an interesting question um i'm I, I don't know i'm not too sure i don't I, I i don't know let me think about it what animals are in the twilight i like the twilight building sets um sorry i took a sip of water i like the twilight building set and i also like the um i also like the animals from the twilight pack i just don't feel like they're one of my favorites but i i still do like the twilight the twilight pack it just isn't one of my favorites um but that's okay uh wait okay um yeah 
what I'm doing right now is just fixing the leaves. Hopefully it looks all right from the outside once I push all the leaves out. Um, I mean, oh, oops, it looks okay. I can fix it by just making these pop out a little bit. My microphone is very strong, so when I eat or when I drink, I try to to eat or drink away from the microphone because it really does pick up. Um, it really does pick up a lot of the sounds. I feel like same. I also probably don't really like the twilight. I mean. I, I do like the animals from the Twilight pack. We got foxes, which were the first flying animals in game, which was a really cool achievement for us planet to like creators or not just the creators for the whole community. It was a milestone um, to get flying. Why isn't it to get flying animals? It was a really big achievement. But I, I don't know, I, I also don't really use the Twilight pack pieces a lot, so I can't say that they're one of my favorites because that would probably be lying. Um, but I don't know, the conservation, I now remember the conservation pack. Um, the conservation pack is... Um, also one of my favorites. I really do love the animals from the conservation pack. Wait, this one is really sticking out. No, this looks not good. Um, um, the conservation pack is another pack that I like. <clears throat> um, another pack that I like. I think I touched all of the packs. Let's check. Okay, we can filter content pack. Um, Africa pack, I love the Africa pack. Um, aquatic pack, I love the aquatic pack. Arctic pack, oh, Arctic pack. That's another pack that I, I, I don't, except for the penguin, which I really do love the penguin. I feel like most of the animals, um, I don't know, the polar bear, I like the polo, the polar bear. Um, but I feel like I, I, I bought the Arctic pack, especially for the building pieces. The Arctic pack was one of the last packs that I got because I thought that it was just pretty boring. And I honestly thought that I wouldn't really like it. Um, you can, you can hear it raining in the background. But um, at the end, I do feel like I really do love the animals from the Arctic pack. I don't know. I, I think I've grown to, li to like them a lot. Um, okay. I don't know what to do about the what to do about the leaves that are sticking through. I think I'm going to enter this. Let's go. Hello, hello. Um, let's go to, um, stone, and I need to go to the dry stone, because that's the stone that I used at the bottom there. I'm gonna put the one meter stone, I think. Maybe the two meter stone I used, I'm not, I don't really remember. Yeah. I'm gonna put it in like this. So, first of all, it's, it doesn't stick out. And also, if there are leaves sticking through, it gives it a l another little layer of, like, I mean, protection. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, let's... Once I'm done with this, my plans are just to build a little fence. A nice... F oh, what did I press? A nice fence that's gonna go around here um, this is like the stables for the Wysant Th 
thank you so much. This is the first time that somebody told me they liked Allo uh, Dunes. I mean, people don't really <laughs> talk about that zoo a lot. Um, a lot of people talk about Safari Wildlife Park and Willow Creek City Zoo, which is this zoo. But I feel like a another one of my favorite zoos is also Allo Dunes. Um, Africa, North America, Australia, Aquatic, Tropical, Twilight, Arctic, Southeast Asia, Europe, Grasslands. Oh, I didn't talk about the Grasslands pack. Um, I, I do like the Grasslands pack. I actually, I, I don't know. I feel like I really love it for the animals. Um, not as much for the building pieces. I don't think there are a lot of interesting building pieces there. But I do really love it for the animals, so I do, I, I mean, I like all of the packs from, from the, um, I, I like all of the packs from Planet Zoo. Let's steal this door. What? Oh, oops, 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 oops. Where am I going? It's called Classic Old Door. Um... I turned on the music. I turned I turned the music back on. Um, in game, tell me if it's like annoying if or if you don't like it. Um, I don't know. It's the first time of me actually doing a like real live um, of actually building. I also did a live stream yesterday and I really did enjoy it. That's the reason why I did a live today. No, no, get off, get off, get off. That's my cat. <laughs> he jumped on the table and he was going to eat my food, which is not allowed. And he knows he's just super fat. Yeah, I also like the music. That's why I left it. Oops, I'm... Um... I do like how this door is looking, but I don't, I want it to be in the center like this. Now I'm going to add the barrier and I'm going to hide the habitat gate behind this barrier. <clears throat> I feel like my voice, I'm losing my voice, but it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> um, we should delete this. Let's also delete this. Um, 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 and like so. This is wonderful. And you can't see the habitat gate. So <laughs> that's that's a plus. Um, I feel like I'm done with this interior. I am going to build like the stables. But for now, I, I don't think I'm going to do that. Let me show you a little bit of um, of my process of how I like get inspiration. So as you can see here, this is what I am inspired from. Um, and yeah, and I'm going to just go into Zoo Chat and I searched, f what is he doing? <laughs> He's playing with a plastic bag <laughs> in the background. I am just going to look for inspiration or for something nice that I can build. I'm going to build a pretty simple and pretty plain habitat. Something maybe like this um, with rocks. Oh, this is actually a really nice idea. What did I just press? Um... I think you asked what is my what is my favorite animal in Planet Zoo? Um, probably the kiwi because I'm called Kiwi Plays. So I'm gonna get inspired by something like this. So let's go back to the game. Um, probably the kiwi. I feel like the kiwi is one of my favorite animals, not only in game but also in real life. Another animal that is really, really, really one of my favorites is the hippopotamus the the hippos are really one of my favorite animals in 
What is it? It's my ginger cat Tom. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw a picture of him. I I uploaded a picture of him a couple of days ago. So I can also upload upload a picture of him now if you would like. My Instagram is Kiwi Plays. Go follow me over there if you'd like to be updated on everything. Um, now I feel like I need to make a little bit of a fence. The fence in the background is just going to be this fence. And Caesar creates his... Where is it? Where is it now? Um, yesterday I did a live, live tour of the zoo. If you'd like to, to see that. It will be... Mm, where will it be? It will be on my channel. You, you can go and check out the live zoo. Um, it was really fun and I really enjoyed it. It was not only a live tour, it was also just chatting and playing around. But I didn't build anything, so in this episode I decided to change it. I think one of the most underrated animals in Planet Zoo. Oh, wait, I'm just one second taking my cat out of the room. Um, okay, I'm back. Um, and the ginger cat is also back. Um, the Indian elephant. Um, I think the sable antelope. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'm going blank right now. I feel like... Um, maybe the pygmy hippo. I haven't seen lo I, a lot of habitats for it. I feel like an overrated animal is the capybara. I do love it. I do like it, but I don't love it. It's not like an amazing animal. Maybe also the kiwi. I really haven't seen lots of the dull sheep is a really underrated animal in my opinion. Um, uh, um let's see. Um the fusa. I haven't seen lots of of habitats for the fusa. But I don't know. I really don't know. The Japanese macaque is also pretty underrated in my... I, I don't know. I feel like... I, I really don't know. But I do agree with you, the, the Indian elephant. I am going to build for the Indian elephant in one of my zoos, eventually. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I remember you did the video on the on the pygmy hippos, but still not a lot of people do for the pygmy hippos, so. Okay, sorry for that. Um, Okay, now I am going to start building the fence, so I was thinking of building something pretty, like, um, not too large, so I'm going to start by putting um, all of the animals that, all of the animals that I, w not the animals, what am I even saying? He wants to get out of the room again. Just wait one second, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to start <laughs> to start building without any interruptions. Um, I start by putting down all of the pieces that I think might be useful. Once I start the building process, this is usually a process that I don't show on YouTube in the, in the videos. I just, 
Um, the next animal is the, um, what's it called? Um, the Wisent from the new Eurasia DLC. Um, it's also in the, the thumbnail of the video, uh, the thumbnail of the live. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start by putting all of the pieces that I'm thinking of using and then I'll start to build stuff. I feel like the most, the piece that I use the most, the wooden piece that I use the most is probably the Indonesian stained timber beam or the Indonesian stained timber wood log thing. Um... I about the pecari build I did I built something similar to that this is what I built it's for the wild boars you you can go check it out if you'd like to um it's a really really nice build for for the wild boars from the new Eurasia DLC um so yeah And it was actually inspired by Caesar Creator's Pecari build. If you watch that video, you you would hear I said in the video. So, yeah. Um, no, this isn't very. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm thinking of making a a little like something like a fence a wooden fence and then i'm also going to make something you'll see <laughs> um I, I don't really know how to explain it so i guess you'll have to just see me building it so these are all of the wooden beam pieces i'm gonna first of all no not this I'm going to duplicate this and put it back here. That's what I do with all of the pieces that I find useful. I'm going to use this piece in the background and this piece in the background. So let's... Um, let me know in the comments how your day has been going. What do you mean by you want the night safari? Like, is that a zoo that you're working on? Or is that a zoo that you'd like to work on? Um, these are the two pieces that I'm going to be using in the background, along with the Caesar Creates piece. Um, Steam Workshop, this piece, I mean there are more than one piece, there is more than one piece here, but those pieces I'm going to use in the background, um, <clears throat> let's start working just on building, so on building the little fence. So we're gonna make it just something like that. And I think I'm gonna use uh, um, how has your day been going until now? Let me know. Let's turn on turn off that. What's this piece called? Indonesian stained timber. Um, how's your day been going? Just let me know, like in the comments. Um, what have you been up to? Anything interesting? Yeah. 
that sounds cool are you planning on building something similar to to that indonesian park Yeah, I I do have all of the packs in Planet Zoo, um, and I wanted to 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 ask you guys, oh, I wanted to ask you what you think about the idea of me. I I I'm thinking of the idea of doing a giveaway of a couple of DLCs when I hit four hundred sub subs. <clears throat> When I hit 400 subscribers, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway for the DLCs. What do you think of that idea? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you not think it's a good idea? Let me know. Not green. I'm not really sure what color I should do these, like, what color should I do these wooden pieces? <clears throat> I don't know if this is a nice color or if I should even actually only do three, like this. Let me know what you think. how this is looking
let's go see what the height of this is compared to the people oh no this is a lot too high this is around it. Um, <clears throat> I'm not too sure what what my next zoo is going to be. That's a really interesting question. I really don't know. I'm thinking maybe something tropical because I haven't yet done a tropical zoo on the channel. So I feel like that could be that could be something that seems interesting and seems like something that i would consider doing what what do you think i should do in the future um yeah i'm really thinking something more tropical something like interesting and original that i haven't done yet i already have a, an idea of something that I might be able to do um, that is tropical and just really nice but I don't know if I'm going to do it at the end or not I, I have to decide but if I will do it it's going to be really interesting and really fun and really nice so yeah <clears throat> I feel like something more tropical like a tropical zoo um yeah that's really just my plan um yeah that, that's really my plan i don't i don't know something along the lines of tropical or something coastal like a coastal zoo maybe a zoo on an island maybe something just very original um let me know what you think i should try or what you'd like to see okay let's check how much space let's check how much space the y cent need
Okay, sorry <clears throat> for disappearing. Let's see what I can do right now. Grade three, one and a half meters long. Not long, one and a half meters in height to up to 13. So let's put, let's say 10, 1,300 meters squared. So this maybe this looks like more than enough space what animals are they compatible with does this look good to you what do you think um i'm not too sure about how this is looking for now i don't know i i like how i just don't like this fat wood piece maybe if i could change it for something like this Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, maybe I can make something that I like a little bit more. Um, duplicate. Position snap. Hello, hello. <clears throat> I was muted for a second. Um, let's see. I want to change the color of this. I'm just not too sure what color would look nice. I'm thinking of building, of doing something along the lines of this. I just didn't like how that one was turning out. So... Let's see, do you think this looks good? This is for the Wysant, so I don't know if this looks good or not. I, I really don't know.
Sorry for going muted over there. I was just eating something really quick. Um, I feel like this looks all right. I just don't like how these look. So let's delete these and take this over here and sink it a bit in the ground. Yeah, this looks all right. So let's Why did the music stop? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I put on the Planet Zoo soundtrack and I don't know why it stopped. Usually while I build like this, I get bored very easily. So I put a audiobook or just music in the background. What do you do when you play? Or when you build, what do you do to, to not get bored? Um, I feel like this looks all right. This looks okay. Yeah. Plus at the end and the maximum, what I can do is do the... Uh, I can't do that. Let's turn this all into one group. Wait, first... We'll duplicate this and then we'll turn this all into one group. Yeah, I feel like when I build, I get bored <laughs> very easily. So I, I never thought about having a live stream in the background while I build, I usually just put a series in the background or, I don't know, listen to songs. Just do some catching up on life, putting on a good series in the background or a audiobook. I've been listening to The Hunger Games in an audiobook the past couple of episodes that I've been building. Um, yeah. And I've just really been enjoying it. I definitely recommend. There's this great audiobook on, it's free on YouTube, which I, I never thought, I thought that maybe there would be one on Spotify, but turns out there's one on YouTube that you can hear for free. So, it's really really good i definitely recommend to listen to if you have the time um it's really great or if you like like any books like that that series is on netflix right if i'm not mistaken i've i've heard about it and i thought about watching it I don't know, I've just, I, it's the funniest thing, because whenever you finish a series, that's when you're looking to start a new one, and then you don't have any ideas, but when you're in the middle of watching a series, then it's like, then you have so many ideas for series as you want to watch, but you don't want to start them, because you're already watching a series, that's, that's at least how I feel. But when when I'm not watching a series and when I'm looking to to watch a series, that's the worst time because then I don't have any like ideas of series to watch, which is super funny. Um, but yeah, that's really how I feel. Yeah, I definitely feel like I will search for it. I'm going to write it down <laughs> so I don't forget. Um, A R A R C. I can't really see the. I can't see the chat from here. A R C A N E. 
I'll write it down for me. So this time when I start a new series, um, then I, when I start a new series, no, what, what am I saying? This time when I end the series that I'm watching right now, then I can start watching this one. Um, a YouTuber that I really do like is, first of all, there are a couple, I'm gonna make the music a little bit softer because I feel like it's disturbing me to talk. Master volume soundtrack 40. Um, first of all, Caesar creates. He's honestly one of my favorite YouTubers and he has also inspired me to build most of the builds in this, I keep pressing um, X instead of Z. Caesar creates is honestly one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, He's probably inspired me to build most of the builds in this zoo. Um, are mm, all inspired by him, probably. Um, another YouTuber that I really do like is... Um, Simply Savannah. I like her videos. But the thing is, is she doesn't post, like, really regularly and she doesn't post a lot. But I still really do love her videos, so you can check her out. Another YouTuber is, she's also a small YouTuber like me. Um, Kate Plays, maybe Sparrow. Um, I've been watching their videos for the longest time. Um, I mean, not the longest time, but probably since I created my channel as well. I've started watching other small YouTubers because I started to really just... I don't know, really just, um, what am I doing? I started to really just like understand how hard it is to create these videos. Um, so yeah, wait, I'm trying to do something. Switch. Um, no, I don't think I know. Paul C. Yeah, same. I'm also looking for it, especially now that she stopped True North Sanctuary or not stopped. Um, like, I mean, yes, she she did kind of stop True North Sanctuary. Um, I feel like uh, I would really like to see what she what she does next. Digital Blob, I see that you also have a YouTube channel right now. I saw that in your, like, picture. There is a, what's it called? It's a Lynx or the Bobcat. We don't have a Bobcat in Planet Zoo. The Lynx, I'm pretty sure. I'll give you a follow. And I will make sure to watch your videos. Wow, they look really cool. I can't wait. Um... Yeah, maybe Grunter's Gaming, I, wait, I wanted to check for Paul, How do you know what she's doing next? Um, no, I haven't heard of Paul's Lee. Um, I'll definitely be sure to check them out. How do you know what she's doing next? I Maybe you talk to her on, what's it called? On Discord or something like that. I, oh, oops, I have no idea. Yeah, I noticed the, the Lynx picture and I didn't, I, I, I was like, maybe they also have a YouTube channel, maybe not. So I just wanted to, to, to check it out. Um, 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 yeah. 
do you have any ideas for me for like both of you do you have any ideas or just like yeah ideas for videos or animals that you'd like me to build for i am a little bit not not at a block but just like really open to suggestions because the current like last two videos have been pretty flopping i don't know and haven't got a lot of like attention and i put lots and lots of effort into it so it's a little bit disappointing to see that videos that i put so much effort into don't really ah oh that's so cool <laughs> um yeah but if you have any ideas for me um like really anything i'm truly open for any ideas Um, I, I want to build for the pygmy hippos and I think that that is what I'm going to do in the next episode in, or not in, not in the next episode, in the next episode I am building for the, um, what's it called? Yeah, that's what I've really been focusing on the past couple of episodes. I've posted a lot for the DLC. I've made this whole section that is for the DLC. Um, this is for the DLC. This is for the Sega. This is for the Wild Boar. This is for the... What's it called? Um, I forgot the name of the... Wolverine, this is for the Wolverine from the new pack, and this is going to be for the um, the Wycent from the new pack. So that is really what I've been focusing on since the new DLC has launched. I've just really, I told myself that I, I really want to focus on the new DLC. Um, and yeah, that's what I've been doing. And honestly, it's, it has been working out for me. I, the videos of the DLC have been getting some, like, attention, but not as much as I would like it. I mean, obviously, I cannot complain. I'm so, so, so happy that I, I get, like, above 500 views every episode, and, like, I, I'm nearly hitting 400 subscribers, which is really crazy to me. Um, but I just feel like I'm really just open to any suggestions to make my channel or my videos or just really everything that I build for and create for just better. I'm always open for creative criticism and, um, just, I'm seriously always open for stuff like that. Hmm. Yeah, so an animal that I would really love to build for is for the pygmy hippo. Um, I feel like that's one of my... Hippos in general are one of my favorite animals in... Not only in the game, but just in real life also. So I... I and I haven't really built a detailed habitat for the pygmy hippos yet. So... And let alone in the channel, I haven't built anything for the pygmy hippos. So I think it could be something cool and something that I might consider. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm probably going to be building for in um, Allo Dunes. In this zoo, I think that the next big project is going to be an Arctic Dome. I've already built the Arctic Dome. It is right here I'll show you <laughs> because um, I don't know oh thank you so much thank you so much <laughs> it really does mean a lot to me 
Um, another thing that I want to build for, and I feel like it's going to be very cool, is an Arctic dome. I, I don't know where it is right now. I feel like you're so right and what you're saying is really just inspiring and really making me <laughs> um, like really making me happy to hear this because I've really been forcing myself to build in in Willow in what's that zoo called Safari Wildlife Park when I started the the Australian section I was really in love with it and I really loved building in that section and I just really loved it but now I just feel like I'm really forcing myself to build in that zoo and I don't want to force myself to do this stuff um, and if I don't want to build something then I feel I shouldn't have to um, and obviously nobody else is forcing me except for myself which I, I know I need to, to start letting go and I need to start letting go of stuff but I uh, I, I started with the I started with the Australian house and I just didn't want to leave it in the middle. So um so yeah, that's that's the reason why I I'm still carrying on with the Australian house, but I feel like now that I'm done with the Australian house, it's like a giant weight has been lifted off of me and I don't know, just thinking about it makes me happy, which it shouldn't be. I mean I should be happy to build builds in Planet Zoo and I should be happy to film these videos because if not then I shouldn't do it. But that was just something that I was really dreading doing and that I'm so happy that I'm done with. I'm super happy with how the Australian house looks but um, but right now I, I don't know. I'm just not happy with how with how it's been turning out. So um, so yeah. I mean, no, that, that isn't right. I am happy with how it's turning out. I just don't want to carry on with it right now. So that's what I'm going to do. And I I, I really do love these lives because um, also in the last episode, some people gave me really beautiful advice and it just makes me so happy and just makes me want to carry on a lot more um, with like builds that I don't feel like doing or stuff like that and it just gives me motivation and inspiration so thank you so much for commenting that even though I don't know you might not think it was the biggest thing um but for me it really did mean a lot yeah I I do feel like at some point I will want to go back to that zoo but for now I want to focus on this zoo I'm just so happy when building in this zoo and it just really makes me um it just I just really enjoy it okay so this is the new habitat um it's a pretty good shape I like how it looks for now um what do you think about it it looks a little bit small for the y -cent. I don't know if it's the right size let's check um let's start to work on it okay and then i'm gonna send the y cent in like all of this stuff um isn't i don't show it when i build my habitats i don't know i just feel like this is the type of stuff that people don't really like watching especially if i was watching a video um i wouldn't like to be bored by placing like habitat gate and not the habitat gates the the habitat barriers how many pets do i have in my house um a lot <laughs> i'm not sure right now i've got like nine cats and two dogs um i think nine cats i'm not too sure um yeah nine cats so 11 pets in total um yeah let's send all of these wisent into the zoo and we need another two females um and pause the game
Yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I feel you're correct. Um, but also when I when I build in franchise, I also do um. What's it called? I also have time lapses like this. Why do I have so many Saiga in the, in the, what's it called? In the trade center. I need to trade them all out of the zoo. Or at least as many as I can. Let's see. Um, let's trade as many as possible out of the zoo. Oh no, okay, never mind, I'll do it offline. Um, I don't know, I just feel like I don't really like showing, um, showing, putting the habitat gates. Sorry, I, I took a bite of my food. Um, here, the y -Cent are going in the, in the habitat. Let's see what they think of the habitat. Oh, oh, I remembered I just, I turned off the, the, all of the things on, on Sandbox. So all of the guests, like, they're basically robots. <laughs> they're not even animals because I can put a lion in here and they wouldn't care. Oh, it looks like he's injured. Or is it just me? Okay. Let's see how big this habitat is. And then by that, I'll decide if it's... Mm, let's... One thousand seven hundred square meters should be enough for the Wycent. Yeah, it should be more than enough. Okay. Wow, they're a lot bigger than I imagined. Hopefully they can traverse. All of this area. Um, yeah, I feel like they can. Um, okay, I'm going to the toilet for really quickly. So I'll be back in one second. Hello, I'm back. Sorry for taking so much time. I also went to get me a bottle of water because I finished my water here. So, and I was getting a little bit thirsty. But I'm back now. 
the live has already been going on for one hour and 13 minutes. So, um, yeah, I wanted to show you where, uh, where I'm taking my inspiration from. This is where, really where I'm taking my inspiration. Oh my God. <laughs> this is really where I am taking my inspiration from. Um, yeah, it's this really cool zoo that I found on Zoo Chat. And I'm also taking inspiration from this build. And yeah. Yeah. Let me go back to Planet Zoo. So this was the little habitat that you saw a second ago. Um, I feel like I, I built it pretty well, if I do say so myself. Uh, let's start decorating the habitat. Okay, first of all, I want to add a couple of trees, but only a couple. I don't want to add too many to make it look unrealistic. So the first one that I want to add is this common ash. And around all of the all of the trees I'm going to put like a net. This one deselect from group. Let's see, let's go to favorites. And maybe one last tree in here um where should i put it and one last tree i wanted to put this larger one back here maybe let's move this one back over there and I am going to use this like tree guard that I made. Thank you so much. I found the shelter, like the um, image of the shelter on Zoo Chat, like I said a second ago. And I just wanted to build something a little bit more interesting than I have been doing the past couple of episodes. Because as you can see here, it's the same breeze blocks and wooden roof and here it's also the same breeze blocks and wooden roof and here where is it here it's also the same breeze bo breeze blocks and wooden roof so i just wanted to do something a bit different here it is different um here it's also different here it's also i mean here it's pretty similar in all of the builds i use the same wooden roof in most of them at least um in this one i used a flat roof and also in this one over here. Um, hey, Cleary. Oh my god, I said hey, Cleary. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I also really, I have a great idea for... A safari like drive through zoo let me let me actually see if I can find a picture on it on Google um, let's see if I find images of the map Um, 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 let's see. Like, it's this really, really, really cool safari park. It's a pretty big safari. Um, with just, like, this drive-through area. Um, and to get into the main zoo, you have to drive through, like, a couple of, um, a couple of, like... A couple of habitats for the animals um, I don't know I can't find a good picture of it never mind so and then you get to the main zoo which is in the middle um, and surrounding it is just a giant like safari with lots and lots of animals that you can just drive through their habitats 
Oh my god, can you hear that? That's the rain. I really do love playing Planet Zoo on a rainy day. It's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> um, let's... Um, these are the tree guards because I feel like if there weren't any tree guards, then the... Um, what's it called? Bison could eat the trees and we don't want them to eat the trees. Um, yeah, this looks alright for now. I feel like I'm just planning on leaving it very plain like this, but I'm going to do grass short. Um, grass short all over, and then some soil in the background. This is going to be a pretty tricky habitat, because, um... I'm very good at habitats that are filled with details and filled with plants like this one and I'm very bad at habitats that are like left empty um, and that's what I'm going to have to do for this habitat so it's gonna be a little bit of a tricky one um, let's firstly add the species let's add the wisent um, enrichment items I'm not going to touch the backstage area for now I'm gonna go back just now and add like stuff to it the mud bath I, I want to make a little mud bath area where should I do it Maybe um, I never knew they had so little enrichment items. This is actually pretty boring, all of their enrichment items. Um... Um, 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 okay, let's see what else. Okay, now we're gonna, oops, I <laughs> deleted the path. And there goes the music again. Um, let's see. I've got all of these, like, blueprint ready um uh, like rocks pieces um if you would like i could definitely upload them to the workshop if uh, you're interested in it um i'm definitely up to it i got a couple of comments asking me where i use my where i use my rocks or if they if people can have a blueprint and the answer is obviously yes i'd love to make a blueprint if you're interested We're gonna start to add the rock work because as we all know the rock work is my favorite part of the building process.
why doesn't it let me um what's it called disable scenery collision why doesn't it let me build here if i disable the scenery collision shouldn't it let me be able to build over that disable scenery collision track collision What did I do? Shouldn't I? I don't know. Maybe what I should do is delete this. Pull up. Just like. down like that and just now I can use this and do that um, yeah that's great Hello, is there anybody in the live anymore? I'm not even sure. Um, if not, that's perfectly fine. I'll just wait until people will <laughs> join. <laughs>
wow, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. And then once I'm done with this, the plan is to finish adding the rocks. Ah, hello. <laughs> I drank that water a little bit too fast. <coughs> okay, it's great to know that there's still somebody in the live watching. I feel like the zoo is very unproportional to real life. Um, I would imagine that the guests wouldn't be so short. I would imagine if this was in real life, that the guest would be probably this tall and would be looking at the zoo from this height. This is how I imagined the zoo. So that's why if you see like pieces of plants so, so high like this, this is the reason because I imagine the guests to be this tall not this tall and that these Little plants are blocking their view Which is very funny um, If I was a guest going to a zoo where I couldn't see any of the ha or any of the animals because all the gates would be too high I would be very disappointed and I'm not short. I'm not that short. I am um, pretty tall so it would be really funny if I'd go to a zoo like that is there anybody else in the live except for Verti? Um, Ver, Verkitorix, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. If there is, I would love it if you could comment, so I would know, um, that you're here and that you're watching, and yeah, and just maybe we can chat. Okay, let's We're just gonna ignore the fact that they can't walk over these rocks. We're gonna pretend that they can. Um I'm not sure if after I post this live, like after I end the live, if I should leave this um, live like on and so that people can watch it after it's been live or if I should like put it on private. Um, I, I don't know. I think I might put it on private until I upload the video of this habitat and then I'll take it off private um what do you think I should do I really don't know okay let's start adding the pr the plants this is the most tedious and the most um time requiring po process let's quickly go back to Google and take a quick look at, oh, oops. Okay, so we can add logs. Oh my God, my voice broke. We can add logs, we can add rocks. We already added the rocks. All we really need to add is some logs and maybe a couple of plants here and there. Um, 
Let's carry on looking for inspiration. Like something like this. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back to Planet Zoo. Um, I'm going to, to add a couple of these plants. What is this even called? Big Blue Storm Gloros. I don't want to add too many plants, just a couple here and there, um, because it won't be naturalistic or realistic if there are lots of plants. This is like in the grasslands of Europe. Like I'm pretty sure I saw Wycent when I was in Austria. Um, but I don't really remember. Uh, uh, um, okay, I could add some of these, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I should add just a, li a few here in the background, here and there. That seems like, in oh, oops. No, I don't want to add those. Let me start adding some, no, I don't, these are a lot Thank you, thank you so much. Hello, Easeman. Um, yeah, I see you only now joined. I'm nearly done with the build already. Um, yeah. How has your day been going so far? Mine has been great, pretty far. Um, it's been a Saturday, so no school, um, which is good. Um, yeah, I've had lots and lots of schoolwork and exams the past couple of weeks because, um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm not nearly finished school, but grade, I don't know what grade I am in, um, in English or I'm in grade... I think I'm in grade 10 or 11, I'm not sure, um, yeah, I know how it is in Hebrew, in Israel, um, <laughs> thank you so much, I really did like that build for the Sega, I hit 370 subscribers today while i was filming the um this live stream which was really crazy um and just really amazing uh so thank you so 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 much to everybody who has subscribed and has um just given a subscribe i think that at three four hundred subscribers i might do a special um special giveaway for uh, a dlc but i'm not too sure what do you think of that idea i've asked that question a couple of times during the live um but i just really want to get a, an answer I have gotten an answer, but I need to get a couple more answers so I will know if it's a good idea or if it's worth it. Um, so, what do you, what do you think of that idea? Hello, hello, yeah, um, Arkia. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Yeah, you were also in the live yesterday, which. I, I remember, um, um, first of all, I'll give you a sub right now, go to channel, subscribe, um, 
and it takes usually a couple of hours i think it takes in between four hours to i don't know maybe i'm exaggerating a little bit but sometimes it can take up to like five hours six hours but sometimes it can take up to one hour per build um so uh it's just it really does depend on like how efficient you are or um like if you do a live stream like this then it usually takes me a lot more this is the first live that i've been doing for building a habitat so um it took me like i think twice the amount of time that it would if i wouldn't be doing a live i've already been building for three hours um I've been building this habitat for around three hours, maybe three and a half. So, um, oh my God, that's so cool that I inspired you to, <laughs> to make a habitat. Wow, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I've been working on this habitat for around f three and a half hours, maybe. And if I wouldn't be like recording it all for a live, it would take me a lot less time so um so yeah um yeah i feel yeah the foliage work does take a lot of time um but also what especially in like habitats like this that are so detailed and the rock work takes a lot of time um yeah, the, the buffalo grass really is a game changer. If you want, you can like go back a couple of minutes in the live stream and you'll see how the habitat looked without buffalo grass. And now if you look at how it looks with buffalo grass, it looks completely different, which is really, really great. Um, yeah, the foliage work does take a lot of time to do. But also just the planning of the habitat, the idea, finding inspiration, that also takes quite a lot of time. Um, yeah, okay, let me carry on with the foliage. Um, I feel like I'm going to try to do this a little bit more often to go live and to build because then people could really see like how hard it is, um, how much time it takes me to build and just get inspired a bit more I, I don't know I just feel like that's a good idea I am from Israel I live in Israel but I was born and raised in South Africa and we moved to Israel a couple of years ago I really do love this ho hoister plant from the um, from the new DLC. It's a really, really, really cool plant, and I really do love how it looks. It's very useful, so I use it quite often. Let me make the audio a little bit longer. Soundtrack volume, yeah, yeah, it is interesting. Um,
Okay, sorry for that, I'm back. Um, should I add these plants in? I don't know. Okay, I'll add them. Mm -mm -mm. I need to go for one second. So I'm going to leave the live um, just on mute for like a minute because I have to go quickly. What are you doing? Sorry, that's my cat. He just flipped over the bin. What is he doing? Oh my God. Sorry about that. Um... What does ALT mean? <laughs> I'm not too sure. Ah, oh, be right back. Okay. <laughs> um, I also have to go for just one second. So... I am going to leave you for one second and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Sorry for leaving. Um, let's go back to the game. Um, oh, oops. I feel like I'm nearly done with this habitat. Uh, I don't know what else to add. I just feel like I'm going to paint this and let's do soil light I'll just like paint it very very subtly I like how this looks well, I really do like how this habitat looks, even though it's pretty small. Um, it's like pretty small compared to my other habitats here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do have a Discord. Um, I will send it in the chat right now. Uh, just wait one second. Mm, how do I do this? How do I send? I, I'm not really sure how to send my Discord, um, but if you join um, Grunter's Gaming's Discord channel, then um, invite. If you join Grunter's Gaming Discord channel, then if you write um, Kiwi Plays in the, um, like if you search for Kiwi Plays, then you'll find my channel. So, I I don't really know how to ch how to send my own um, channel, how to send my own not channel, 
but profile um let's hello okay now i see okay let me carry on the building and accept there we are okay so um yeah so let's see what else i can do over here okay i'm gonna close discord so i can see what's going on in youtube because i don't have an option to see um like my analytics on youtube so um so i have the the live chat on my phone in front of me because i don't know how to put it on youtube um i've got a couple of videos planned for the coming video videos and yeah i'm pretty excited for the coming videos Maybe this is too many trees, I'm not too sure. I just love adding more foliage work. As I said, it's like, it's a really big problem. Um, I don't know how to not add foliage and lots of plants. Let's see, and let's maybe add a little bit more buffalo grass just to make it look more interesting. I'll look at it in just a second once the live is over then I'll be more free to look at it because I want to finish building this habitat and then I'll go ahead and look at whatever you sent me um, but for now let me just really quickly finish this habitat I think this habitat has came to an end and if not I'll finish it offline but I think I want to take a little bit of a break um for now thank you all so much for watching until this point um yeah okay i will just wait a couple more seconds so you guys can see um so you guys will see what i said because everything here is delayed so when i'm saying this you'll probably only hear it in a couple of seconds Oh, oops, I pressed the mute button by accident. And goodbye to everybody. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching until this point. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to start doing this a bit more often. Um, yeah, that's the end of the live for 